In this video, we're going to talk about Multimedia Sciences Spring Energy Lab software. This is a lab that's based on a simulation of a spring, and it's two separate experiments. The first experiment, uh, the students will determine the spring constant, and the second experiment, they'll measure the uh, energies of the spring and show that energy is conserved. One of the interesting um, things about this particular uh, lab software is that the majority of the student lab uh, output will be actually provided inside of the, um, the software and will be printed out in order to be handed in to the instructor. Let's take a quick look. Here's the first part. See there are some directions which show the student how to take the data from the simulation and do the calculations. Also talked about how to go about making the graph to come up with the spring constant from the slope. And more details on how to use the slope to come up with the spring constant. The actual lab. Um, we can add masses to the spring and then type in the values for the mass, the stretch, which we'll read off of the ruler here. Looks like about uh, 1.4. And then we will change that since this is in centimeters. We'll change this to uh, 0 0.014 meters, divide by 100. And then we'll continue to take data. And when we're done, we can print out the data table. Notice that there's a number here. This is a number that uh, in a hidden way includes the uh, number for the spring constant so that you can check the students answers. Obviously they can reset and start over as ne if necessary. Then after they've uh, made a graph and come up with the spring constant we go on to part two. Here we're going to have a lab, excuse me, a mass on a spring that has a certain mass and it will start to bounce up and down and then we can stop and start it until we find the exact measurements for the minimum, the maximum, and the equilibrium um, distance. We do have a line that we can use to help us uh, get an exact answer. And we can place the, keep placing the line until we know that that is the exact maximum point. Got to make sure that I actually click on the line to make sure that uh, it doesn't move with the mouse. Okay, once we've gotten the data, here's a list of questions that the students will have to uh, answer. Here are the equations for figuring out the kinetic energy and the spring potential energy, both at the top and the bottom. And then they will place their calculations for the gravitational potential energy top, middle, bottom, the spring potential energy top, middle, bottom, and the kinetic energy top, middle, and bottom, and hopefully calculate and show that the total energy is constant. Again, they can print out their answers to be turned into 
the instructor. Then there is a final set of questions where they will be asked um, where they believe that the energies will be zero. And they will fill in the table and check their answers uh, until, again, they get it correct. And that will be part of the printout. There is no real lab handout since um, all of the uh, materials, all of the uh, work for the students is included in the software and simulation. Um, here is a one possible solution. It shows the data from the part of the first part of the lab. And here is the graph for figuring out the spring constant. And here are the questions and uh, answers leading to the final calculation showing that the energy, uh, total energy, is conserved. If you're interested in getting a copy of the Spring Energy Lab, um, you can go to the Teachers Pay Teachers site at this URL and type in that name, and that will take you to a screen with more information.